If all Americans wore masks, socially distanced, and we did large-scale testing, in just 60 days, we could run the coronavirus to ground. But what masks should you buy? There are three factors to consider. Fabric, fit, and fouling. What's the purpose of a mask? It's to take a coronavirus like this and stop it from getting in. And to prevent the virus from escaping. There's a lot of confusion over which fabric to buy. Now there's some masks like this K95 or N95, which use electrostatic charges to actually capture the virus. There are other fabrics that people talk about, say microfiber cloth like this, or just plain cotton cloth, where perhaps you need two layers and perhaps you need a flashlight like this and you wanna look through it to see if there's holes. The fact is how a fabric collects the virus is extremely complicated physics. It's not like pinballs going through a pinball machine. It's not even a sieve like this. It's quite complicated. And what we really need in this country is we need a label. We need a nutrition label to tell you whether the mask will work. On the other hand, you can choose a mask which fits properly. Even if you found the perfect fabric, you really need to make sure the mask doesn't have leaks around the sides or the nose where there's improper fit. Let me show you. This is a surgical mask. As you can see, air can leak out through here and around my eyes if I don't press this metal band down gently to fill it, but I still have some leaks here. I also can use a mask like this. And this also has leaks around the top. We can illustrate these leaks by using a candle. As you can see, when I breathe, very little air comes out of the mask. But up here, watch how the air blows the candle. I can even blow it out. With that much leak around the nose, you know, you might as well cut a hole in the mask. It's just as effective. But a well-fitting mask like this with a nose wire can protect you and your family. Look how the air while I breathe causes the mask to go in and out. It's trapping air. It's not escaping around the nose. Okay, the third factor is fouling. After you've worn a mask like this for a while, it becomes foul with viruses, like this. Now, if you touch this mask with your fingers, a virus might come off and land on your eyes and get into your system. Let me illustrate this with some ketchup. Imagine this is a day's worth of virus. And, you know, you touch your face, you touch your eyebrows, you touch your eyes, you think about things, you readjust the mask, where is this going to go? It's going to enter your body and it's going to give you COVID. If you want to keep you and your family safe from COVID, buy a mask with a good fit around the nose. And whenever you take it off or whenever you put it back on, make sure you wash your hands either in the sink or with a good quality disinfectant. If we do this, we can make our country safe, prosperous, and fun again. Meet me, meet me, meet me.